Hey everybody, I hope you had a great Halloween. Was it just me or was it like the season of the king size stuff? I'm sick of this Twix. I mean, I'm not complaining. I was really, really stoked about it. Oh, in the news for the week, covering the top headlines in five minutes or less, so you lazy bastards don't have to. So Paul Ryan finally took the Speaker of the House position. Yeah. But with some amendments to the current thing, which is he needs to get three months off during the summer, spring break, ski week, Christmas break off. He needs to have one week where he's appreciated and everyone brings him free lattes. Um, his entire staff gets free cappuccinos and he gets every national religious holiday off. Oh, or is that teachers? Benghazi, Ghazi, and Hillary, Ori, and both the press and the media said she handled herself with a lot of poise and grace. Under weird, but true, a Nevada spa employee froze herself in one of their chirogenic treatment pods. So these pods, you close it down on you and apparently the temperatures drop to minus 240 degrees Fahrenheit. And the effort to um, tighten your skin and relieve ailments, she closed it on her and according to the medical examiner, she died instantaneously by suffocation and um, was unable to get herself out of the pod even though it didn't have locks. So you can insert whatever else of frozen jokes you want in there. I am sticking to my Botox. Ladies, I'm sad to report that Derek Jeter has proposed to his longtime, shockingly supermodel girlfriend. So go ahead and just dig your face into that candy bowl. It was a good week for funny people. Guatemala City elected their first comedian as president, Mr. Jimmy Rowley, which I am hopefully praying sets us up for a 2020 Stuart Faye ticket. I mean, if John and Tina run, let's be honest, we're all gonna quit our jobs and join their campaign committee already. Speaking of funny Jimmys, NBC Brass is having a hard time. I should say they're a little concerned about Mr. Jimmy Fallon because he keeps tripping and falling and cutting himself. So he had a kitchen accident uh, a while back and then recently he fell on a bottery, bottle of Jägermeister when he was overdoing an event for Harvard Lampoon. Which begs the question, who the heck is still drinking Jägermeister? Zoe Dashana named her baby Elsie Otter. Why, you ask, would she name her that? Why, because otters are cute and they have tools and they hold hands while they sleep. I did look up all the other um, animals that use tools too, and let me read them to you. Chimpanzees, crows, orangutans, elephants, gorillas, octopuses, macaws, and rodents. So let's just be grateful she didn't have twins. Still weird, but really not shocking at all. The people in China have started to crawl on their hands and feet as a new form of exercise. Which begs the question is if they walk in a group, are they still gonna form a line that you can't walk around? In other health news, the World Health Organization has come out against, wait for it, bacon. Bacon apparently can cause cancer. Which begs the question, did any of us ever think bacon was actually good for you? Is anyone surprised when anybody says, oh, by the way, bacon's not good for you? Dude, eat up the bacon and flush it down with a whole thing of wine. Wines! In tech news, Marissa Mayer cannot seem to turn the sinking ship of Yahoo around and reported tens of millions of losses last quarter. I mean, does anyone go to Yahoo? Does anyone use Yahoo? Does anyone have a Yahoo email anymore? It's like having an AOL email, it's embarrassing. And I'm gonna screw this up, but I'm so excited. The Austrian La Francouche, La Francouche is gaining popularity by offering hints of licorice and smoked meat. Yes, you eat that with bacon and you will literally have the best meal of all time. So if anybody's out there trying a blinkin' La Francouche, let me know. I actually wanna go try and find one at our local store. And I'll let you know. Um, all the reviews of the movies that came out this week are all like <laughs> Sandy B's uh, Our Brand is Crisis, which also wins like worst title of a movie ever. How that got through marketing, I have no idea. Nasty Baby with Kristen Wiig and Rock the Casbah with Bill Murray all just got super tepid reviews, so I'm not running out to see this. I still haven't seen The Martian yet. Wines! And one thing that I've not reported on that The Week does, at the very back cover, they run like a little, um, Contest, little play on words. And this this week's was really fun because we're still talking about bacon. And the question was, a British survey found that 30% of vegetarians admit to eating meat when they get a little tipsy. Wines! What name would you give this ailment? Second place was the seven beer itch. And the first winner was beer gobbles. So there it is, guys, the top headlines, five weeks or less. And I think that covers it. I will see you next week. Subscribe to the channel and have a great day.